don't know why they don't play the Beatles' Day Tripper on that. Now, as part of our series on day trips in Britain, Eileen Marina has been out and about along the Northumberland coast. Together with two small friends, Laura and Ishmael, Eileen begins her day out on the Farne Islands, just off a coastline of castles and breathtaking scenery. You can't visit the coast of Northumberland without taking a boat out to the Farne Islands. They include some 28 islands, although the number visible varies according to the tides, which can be treacherous. In the 7th century, Cuthbert made this journey, building a retreat on one of the islands, establishing the area as one of the first Christian kingdoms in Britain. Today, the birds have taken over, establishing their own wildlife sanctuary on the dramatic volcanic rock. Well, this is Staple Island here, one of the main islands that the seabirds use to nest and breed on during the season. There's big dark birds there with a the long neck, they're sharks. Birds are like the corn one, but they're not as big as what a corn one is. The, the puffin is quite a little comical bird, you know, and he's sort of a symbol of the, of the Farn Island here. He's nested here for years and years. And it's a bird that everybody wants to see when they come here. The first thing they ask for is, are the puffins still here? life you can also see seals in the waters although they can be a little camera shy ducking and diving into the sea but it's the longstone lighthouse home of one of the few heroines in britain which dominates the islands it was from here that grace darling rode out with her father the lighthouse keeper to rescue five people from a wrecked steamer in 1838 and back on terra firma along the coast at bamborough we visited the grace darling museum at that time England didn't have a national heroine. And here, by chance, uh, she stepped into history and she became the first genuine woman heroine of the country. And you probably don't know, she was later made a national heroine of Japan. Just up from the museum is Bamborough Castle, a place which echoes a troubled and lawless past. The Northumberland coast, known as the County of Castles, was once a highly dangerous place where English and Scottish armies fought each other intermittently for more than 300 years. Today the castle deals with less troublesome tourists. Up the coast, visible from Bamborough, is Holy Island. And after a quick check on the tides, we cross the causeway to visit another castle. Thank you. 